Hi there. My name's Sam and I work for a company called Cooth. And I'd like to start by thanking you for putting some time aside this evening for, to listen to Cooth's offer and what young people can access via Cooth. And this is being done specifically for the young people transitioning up to Crossley Heath School in September and also for the parents of those young people as well, just to let you know what is available. Transition is a super exciting time. It's full of new opportunities, new people, exciting new challenges and lots and lots of new things to get your teeth into. And it's a brilliant thing this step up into being slightly more mature and slightly more grown up and there is lots of wonderful things about it but it's not without its difficulties. Transition can also be a time that brings up lots of uncertainty, lots of worry, lots of anxiety for young people all over the UK and I'm sure this room is no different. So we usually start with this question when we're talking about Cooth. Where can young people go when they need to talk to somebody? And for some of you, that'll be family members, whether it's the parents that are in the room right now and carers, maybe it's siblings or grandparents, maybe your child's class teacher is an absolutely fantastic support to them. Maybe your child has a really good network of friends that are there to support. And that's all wonderful. That's great. But for lots of families, sometimes there isn't that dynamic where young people feel that they can talk about what's going on for them. Or maybe they want somewhere else, somewhere impartial to vent and get out their thoughts and concerns. And as well as big changes coming up like the school holidays, when suddenly some of your child's support network is gone. That year six teacher that your child's got quite close to and worked really closely with is no longer available through August and then September, you've got lots of new teachers on the horizon. So this is a time of big change and quite a lot of turbulence. And that's where Cooth comes in. So Cooth is accessible in Calderdale for young people from the age of 10 all the way up to the evening of their 26th birthday. So this is something that a, a young person can use as a tool for support really consistently throughout their young life. It is a website, not an app, and it is all about young people's mental health and emotional well-being. And the support we offer at Cooth is completely free, completely safe, and completely anonymous. So young people sign up under a username and we don't know who they are. So this means that anything that young people talk to us about on Cooth doesn't get brought back to schools, families or services. It is confidential for them. There's a number of complex safeguarding processes in place that I would be happy to answer any questions on if you would like to ask Mr Davis any of your questions about Cooth and he can pass them on to me. Cooth is there to support young people with absolutely anything. So at the moment, we're having a big conversation around transition and the worries that that brings up. But you might look at your child and you might think, do you know what, then they're OK with transition, but there's something else going on that they're really upset about. There's something that's happened in our family. There's something that's happened in their friendship groups or there's just something going on with them at the moment that they could do with a bit of support with. And that's where Cooth comes in. The only thing we're not is a crisis service. So obviously, if you thought somebody was at immediate risk of harm or in danger, we would encourage you to use the emergency services. But anything up to that point, anything before that point, Cooth is there to support with. And the first way we support this is with our online counselling team. So we have a team of counsellors or emotional wellbeing practitioners on their way to becoming accredited counsellors online 365 days a year and young people can talk to the counsellors in one of two ways they can access them on the messaging service which is a bit like an email inbox they can go type their message up and send it and we'll respond to it within 48 hours and that's available around the clock it might be that your young person struggles to sleep it's three o'clock in the morning and they want to get something off their chest they're more than welcome to use the messaging service to do that the second way that they can access the counselling team is through the live chat function. 
So the young person goes to Keith, joins the chat queue and waits until they are at the front of that queue. They then go into a one-on-one -on -one chat room with a trained counsellor and they can speak to us all via written messages for an hour a week. What I will say about the chat function is that there can be a bit of a wait. So there'll be occasions where young people get through in 10 minutes, which is brilliant. But on evenings where we're particularly busy, the wait can go up to an hour. What I'd recommend is that your young person opens Cooth on their phone, their laptop, their tablet, whatever it is they're using, and keeps it open whilst they get on with something else. They'll get a little notification when they're at the front of the queue and that'll be a, an indicator that it's time to start. But distracting themselves with something else in the meantime might just make that wait seem a little less tedious. So that's also available every single day of the year, but it is time boundary. So that's 12 p.m. till 10 p.m. Monday to Friday and 6 p.m. till 10 p.m. at weekends. And that's just the first thing that we offer. In addition to the counselling service, we have an online community of young people that are there to support one another through difficult patches and things that are tricky or challenging. So the first way we do that is through the Couth magazine. And this is a collection of written work. Some of it is creative writing, some of it is journalism, some of it is bullet point lists and poetry. There is lots and lots and lots of stuff on there. Some of it is about mental health and lived experiences. And some of it is just about the stuff that young people like to write about. So maybe they've done a really good poem in English today that they want to put on Keith. That's absolutely fine. Maybe your young person isn't really into writing, but they'd like to come and read other people's experiences and maybe write a few comments. And that's fine as well. This is just a small selection of some of the content that's on Couth from the last month. But this is, honestly, I had to filter down to just these handful because there is lots and lots and lots of articles on there, specifically around moving up to high school, specifically around starting secondary. So if it is something that your young person's worried about, I would really recommend that they go and have a look at that because there's so much resource there for them. The second thing we've got is Couth Forums. So this is a place where young people can come online and ask questions or ask for advice or just talk about their feelings. And other young people can respond with their thoughts and opinions, what's been going on for them, maybe something that helped them through a difficult time. Again, this can be about mental health and emotional well-being, or it can just be about hobbies and interests and things that are fun. So your young person might be really into superheroes and might want to talk about the top five Marvel characters. That's absolutely fine. They can do that. That's not a problem. Again, I just wanted to show you a few examples, literally just from May. <laughs> so very, very recent, um, exploring those concerns around secondary school and high school. And a lot of these replies, having read them myself, are from older students saying, oh, I've gone through this. This is what helped me. You know, it's not that bad. I'm really settled now and I love it. Things like that, that are there to offer support and reassurance. What I will say about both magazines and forums is that everything is checked before it goes online. So, your young person might not want to talk about this because they might feel vulnerable or they might feel like they're going to get a nasty comment back. That doesn't happen on Couth. Every single comment, every single forum, every single article is all moderated by our counsellors. So it's not an algorithm on the website. It's real people reading comments and deciding whether they are appropriate or not. What this means is, number one, it's a completely safe space for young people to use and to talk about how they're feeling and to be vulnerable. Number two, it doesn't work live. So your, your child might put a comment on forums and they might feel like, oh, nobody's got back to me and it's been two days. It can just take two or three days for stuff to go live onto the website. So if you are experiencing that delay, we appreciate it's frustrating, we appreciate it's a bit difficult, but it is part of keeping young people safe online, which I'm sure we all agree is really important and difficult in, in the age of the internet. 
So that's the peer support stuff. The last thing I'd like to quickly run you through is just a couple of self-help tools. So we have an online journal that young people can track and record their feelings and how things have been going for them over weeks or months. And if that's something that your young person is struggling with, that can be a really therapeutic tool to write down what we're worried about and to write down what we're struggling with. We've also got a goal setting tool where you can monitor and track your goals. Um, one of the really popular ones for young people moving up to high school is practicing their tie, maybe once a week or once a day until September. And they can track that using the goal section of the website. And the last thing is the COOTH activities. So this is a selection of online activities, therapeutic activities that can be done to de-escalate and relax and refocus, maybe when we're feeling really stressed or really agitated. And all of them can be done away from the screen. What I really like about these is when you click on view activity, it takes you to a step-by-step -step guide of how to complete the task. So if you've got a, a child or a young person that goes, oh, well, I don't know how to make my own coping box. I'm not doing it. That's fair enough. But if you click on view activity, it really breaks it down so that everybody can access it. There's 23 activities on Keith, and it might be that 20 of them aren't for you, aren't for your, your child. But you might find three new coping mechanisms or coping strategies that really, really work. And if that's the case, you've got that without spending a penny and without giving away any personal information. So it is worth having a look at. Even if you decide not to use it, it's worth having a look and seeing what is on offer. Outside of Keith, we can be found on Instagram. We've got curated playlists on Spotify and we've got the Spotify podcast that can be listened on Spotify and Apple Music. The Cooth podcast covers a real range of content from things that are sort of wider societal and cultural issues to very day-to-day -day applicable content for young people. They're about 15 minutes in length. The longer ones are around 20. So it might just be a lovely thing to put on in the car on the drive home or on the drive back to school tomorrow or whatever, you're, whatever it is you're doing. And not all of them will be interesting or relevant to you, but maybe have a scroll through and try and find the ones that might help manage your young person's feelings or offer some reassurance or just, just be interesting. So how does my young person get this support or how do I get this support? It takes less than five minutes. Your young person doesn't have to speak to an adult. Your young person doesn't need any bank details. And you don't need to take them to the GP or go through any referral process to get the support that Cooth offers. All you need to do is go to cooth.com and it will look like this. So you press the yellow join Cooth button and it will take you to a series of questions. And this is where young people get a bit spooked out because they've come to Cooth thinking that they're going to be anonymous, that we don't know who they are. And then the website says, oh, but where do you live? How old are you? And what is your gender and ethnicity? And understandably, young people then panic that we will use this information to locate them and they end up not signing up with us because what they want to talk about, they want to talk about it anonymously. So please, if you are the young person, listen to me now. If you are supporting that young person, it's really helpful if you can let them know that this information is never going to be used to track a child down and to find out their real identity. The reason we take this information is because we are commissioned by the NHS Clinical Commissioning Group in Calderdale. And understandably, sometimes they come along and they want to know if they're still spending their money wisely. And so this information allows us to report accurately around how many new signups we've got, what the age ranges of those signups are, what uh, what groups are accessing Cooth more prolifically than others, all of those sorts of things. So this information is never going to be used to find out a young person's real identity, no matter what it is that they tell us. So if I was a young person, I'd put those details in and that would be pretty much it. The only thing I've got left to do is create a username and a password. And I will just say two things about this, because we all know what usernames and passwords are. But for the username, can you please encourage your young person to choose something that cannot be tracked back to them, not just by the staff at Cooth, but also by other young people on the website? 
Sometimes we get young people that want to use their gamer tags or their social media names because they think the counsellors won't know who they are, which is true, the counsellors don't. But then if they go and comment on a forum and say something really personal, and let's say they've used their gamer tag, other people in their class might identify that and know it's that young person. And then they've lost the protection that the anonymity offers. So we do ask that that username is completely random. The second thing we ask is that you jot down the username and password either in a note on your phone or in the back of a diary or a book that they keep safe or, or whatever. And the reason we ask that is because somebody might come and share something really personal at Keith. Obviously we support with absolutely anything. So a young person might have to really build up the courage and determination to talk about something. And when that happens, we keep that information so that next time they come back, we can carry on that conversation with them. If they lose their account, they have to make a new account because we can't reset it because we've not got their email address. So they have to make a new account and come and tell us all over again. And for some young people, that process is so upsetting and stressful that they don't do it. And then we lose the opportunity to, to support them. So please, please, please do encourage them, do chivy <laughs> and, and, and try and get them to jot that down somewhere. And that brings us to the end of the presentation. And um, everybody needs support sometimes with lots of different things. And if that is transition at the moment, Cooth is there to support that young person. But it might be that something happens in a year or five years or when your young person is 23, <laughs> and Cooth will still be there as a support tool for young people to access and manage their own feelings. So, like I said, please do make an account, please have a look around. And like I said, if you do have any questions, do feel free to direct them to Mr. Davis so that he can forward them to me. But yes, thank you very much for listening. And I really hope you enjoy the rest of your evening.